Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David, and this is a review for Erdnays by Madison. All right, so Erdnays by Madison, what is it? It is a uh, collection of videos that teach the different slights and skills that uh, Daniel Madison has learned and pulled from his readings of the famous treatise, The Expert at the Card Table, written in 1902 from S.W. Erdnays. This is a recent release from illusionist.com, and if you'd like to see the trailer, this is it. I am Daniel Madison. One year ago, I decided to take on Erdnays. I have spent over a year studying, memorizing, mastering the infamous book from 1902, The Expert at the Card Table by S.W. Erdnays, so that I could bring to you Erdnays by Madison. This huge project is not just about me teaching everything from Erdnays. This is a truly unique project in which I will teach you how Erdnays has influenced my career for over 15 years. With 8 hours of instructional, intricately detailed footage, I will teach you in the biggest project I have ever worked on, everything that I have made my own from Erdnays. Available in very limited quantities, the Erdnays by Madison box set includes my very own annotated Erdnays, a hard copy of the Erdnays by Madison edition of the Expert the Card Table, which includes a new introduction from myself. The box also includes the Erdnays by Madison deck of playing cards, as used by Erdnays himself in the book The Expert at the Card Table, and also a very limited Erdnays Green version of the same deck of cards. This is not a gimmick, it is more than a book, it is more than a download, it is more than a deck of playing cards. This is my tribute to the expert at the card table by S.W. Erdnays. I am Daniel Madison and this is Erdnays by Madison. So that was Erdnays by Madison. Of course, lots to say, lots to put into this. Of course, we want to jump right on into it. So the first thing we have to ask is, what's in the box? What's in the box? Uh, well, Illusionist is offering this in a couple of different ways. Uh, the way I purchased it was as the collective bundle. All right, and so what's in the box? You're gonna get uh, a soft cover copy of the expert at the card table. Okay, it's a white cover with the uh, new uh, Erdnays by Madison squiggle logo. And then you're also gonna get two decks of cards inside that box, you're going to get the green Erdnays deck and then the black Erdnays deck. And in addition to that, you're going to get a PDF, which is uh, the copy of the expert at the card table that's been annotated, which means written on, uh, from Daniel Madison. And you're going to get eight hours of downloaded video of Daniel Madison teaching you uh, a lot of these slights, cuts, and moves. Of course, it is possible to separate your purchases. You can get just the decks uh, with the book or you can get just the downloads, or you can get them all together. The reason why you would get all together would be to, of course, minimize cost, and then to get the PDF. If you want the PDF, the only way to get it is in the bundle. Is it what I thought? You know what? It was a little bit confusing, because I really, I really thought at the beginning of this, when I went to go hit purchase, I really thought it was gonna be Daniel Madison teaching you how to do all the tricks from the expert at the card table, or at least some of them, or most of them, or I, I just thought it'd be him going through the book page by page, step by step, you know, repeating 
a lot of what's taught there and that's not what this is. If you get the downloaded video, it's not going to be Madison teaching you Erdnase. It is true to its title. It's Erdnase by Madison. Okay, so it's Madison's interpretation of Erdnase. It's his thoughts. It's his improvements. It's his, this is what I've taken and this is what I've given back. And so uh, one of the things he said was, uh, this is how he took the lessons from Erdnase and used them for his own good. Okay. Uh, another uh, thing that he said in the video was, this project isn't me teaching Erdnase. It's teaching what I took from Erdnase and how I made it my own thing. Uh, at one uh, point in the video, in the download, he even describes this as being less about Erdnase and even more that it's uh, a mechanics version two. Mechanics was one of the videos that Madison put out. Um, in fact, there's eight moves on this video. There's eight moves on this download that are from mechanics, not directly from, but the same thing taught. So you kind of have to think of this as this goes in light of when he did how to cheat at cards or when he did moves uh, or when he did mechanic. It's all kind of in that same series. What's the overall quality and production value of the video? Uh, the video itself is filmed a lot to make it look like the book. It's like the illustrations in the book. You know, in, in the book, if you have the book, there's all these uh, figure illustrations where it's just the hands holding the deck of cards. And what Madison has done is he's kind of blocked out all the environment. He's wearing black on black. He's got black all the way up, all the way to his sleeves, black uh, chest, black background. So really the only thing you see are his hands and the cards. So it's made to look a lot like the illustrations. And so in that regard, it almost appears to be what would Madison's version of the expert at the card table look like. If Madison was going to write his own copy of it, release his own copy, if he were going to do the same type of project, what would his version look like? What would the Ernays by Madison look like? And that's what you're getting. Is it well made? You know what? It's going to have similar categories uh, to how to cheat at cards, especially with the shuffling in the hands and shuffling at the table. Starts the same way. Uh, also kind of has the same categories that Erdnais uh, did in his book with the exception of the ledger main. Uh, and and let's, like I said, it's if Daniel wrote his own copy of Expert at the Card Table. All right, so how about the book? Is the book well made? Uh, it's a very well made uh, softbound book. As you can see, it's not the same size probably as the copy that you have at home. Uh, this copy is more of a pocket size. Like you could stick this, you know, button it and stick it in your back pocket, carry it with you. It's a little bit more compact. Um, it doesn't really have anything in it that's necessarily new, okay? It's only got a preface, which is like three, four pages of Madison talking to you at the beginning and then another two of him responding at the end. So pretty much it's really just the expert at the card table with a brand new cover, okay? And uh, Madison's preface at the beginning. The playing cards are done in the same manner as a lot of uh, Madison's other decks. Very simple, very minimalistic, lots of white space. Across the front of the tuck case, it says Erdnays X Madison or Erdnays by Madison. And you have this little uh, squiggle line that is a direct uh, take from the illustrations that are in the book. The sides of the tuck case are both blank and the bottom has a little bit of ad copy. The top simply says Erdnays and Madison and has Madison's logo. And the back design, of course, is the back design of the cards. There is no tuck seal on the box, which is nice. And that is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards are printed from the United States Playing Card Company and they are come on their retail stock. They do have a modern cut and air cushion embossed. And if you'd like to learn more about stock, cut, or finish, you can click the link below in the description. A lot of people are always going to ask how these cards feel, how they handle. Best thing I can do is measure them for you. I can stick 10 of these in the caliper and give you the exact measurement of what 10 equal to so that you uh, will have a better idea, better understanding, uh, uh, and then compare them against other decks that maybe you've held before or owned before. So 10 of these cards, okay? 10 of these in the caliper come to 2.71. Now, 2.71, for me is a little interesting because I haven't had a measurement of 2.71 yet. <laughs> I've had 2.72 <laughs> and I've had 2.70, but I haven't had 2.71. <laughs> so 2.72 would be like the keepers, you know, with the new crush stock that Bicycle has uh, and the new uh, Art of Play Memento Mori deck are, it, it comes in there. So this is a really thin deck, okay? So again, this is Bicycle's new crush stock. It's gonna feel very thin and very pliable uh, in your hands. The back design is taken straight from the pages of the expert at the card table. If you look through the illustrations, uh, of course you notice that there's a little squiggle mark uh, on the top and bottom of each card, and that really we think is because, you know, the illustrator didn't want to go through the trouble of drawing a back design on every illustration, so we made this little squiggle, but 
It's an interesting thing to emulate when making an original deck of cards that honors the expert at the card table. With this deck, you're gonna get two original jokers. It's an illustration from the expert at the card table, but with a little bit of a nuance. It has uh, tattoo work all over the hands that are mirroring Daniel Madison's hands. And then you'll notice that one of the jokers says the figure is Madison, and the other one says the figure is Erdnase. Also with this deck, you'll get two additional cards. Uh, you'll get a double backer, which is great for magic tricks. And then you'll get an ad card that explains a little bit of the project of the Erdnase by Madison. Your Ace of Spades is very big and bold and has no writing on it at all. Uh, and the only way to denote uh, that it's part of this deck is to notice that it has a little Erdnay squiggle underneath the spade pip. All of your pips, indices, and court cards are all gonna be completely bicycle standard, universal, making them great for gameplay, magic, and flourishing. Of course, because it is a Daniel Madison deck, it will have one exception. The King of Diamonds will be the Daniel Madison King of Diamonds. Now, of course, if you get the box set, you're also gonna get the green edition of the cards. And and really the only thing that's green is that the squiggle mark is now green and not black. All right, so what's going on with the project, the teaching, the videos, what's up with that? Because when Madison first released it, he made a lot of bold claims and said that he was better than Erdnays and, and what's going on and, and how do I process this uh, release? Okay, so let me just tell you. Um, First of all, anyone who knows Madison's background, Madison's history, or at least the character that he portrays, uh, he, he says that he is an ex-gambler, okay? He originally was a gambler who found his way into magic, much like Erdnase, okay? That is really Erdnase's story as well. And really, the expert at the card table is more of a book for gamblers uh, and gambling techniques to teach to magicians. Now, a lot of magicians hold the expert at the card table uh, as their Bible, as their treatise, okay? But really, it's a little misguided as it's more of a gambling book per se. And really, because Madison has a foot in both realms, right? He has been a gambler and a magician. Who better than to judge the book? Who better than to judge Erdnase than Daniel Madison. I don't think very many of us are both professional gamblers and magicians, right? We haven't done both. We've either done one or the other. You may know some slides, you may know some moves, you may even know some gambling magic tricks, but to say that you actually place money on the table, that you make your living gambling, probably not, right? So when he makes this claim that he's better than Erdnays, it's because he is the judge that can actually make that claim, to say that, you know what, I've lived in both realms, I've read this book, and now here are my thoughts. And really, to say that you're better than a, a book from 1902, or that you're better than an author that, for all we know, is fictitious, it's a pretty easy claim to make. And I would think that most of us are better than our heroes. You know, you are, you're better than your heroes because a lot of our heroes existed a long time ago. They were in a time that limited them. There was limited knowledge. And now you have more exposure, more knowledge than even your heroes had. So the possibility that you could now exceed your heroes is a reality. You know, if I say, well, okay, who's the best martial artist? And you say, well, Bruce Lee. All right, Bruce Lee is the best martial artist. But why is he the best? Well, he's the best because he broke new ground. Well, I, granted, and nobody can go back in time and break that ground again. Who's the best escape artist? Harry Houdini. All right, so why is he the best? Well, because he broke new ground, granted, and nobody can go back in time and take that away from him. But is he still the best escape artist? Has no one ever been better since him? Is Bruce Lee really the best martial artist? No one's ever been better sense him and that's such a sad thing to say because if that's true that means there's no hope we can never get better we can never get better and if we can never get better then that means the best is behind us and what lies ahead of us just mediocrity what a terrible dream what a terrible vision for for magic to say that we can never be better than our heroes and I, and I would disagree. I, I think that's not true. I think we have our heroes. They're back there. They broke new ground. They're legendary. I would say that. They're legendary. You know, we can't take their legend away from them, but certainly somebody could come along and be better than Babe Ruth, right? Someone could come along and be better than Bruce Lee or better than George Washington. They don't have to be the best for all time. And so for Daniel Madison to make that claim, I don't think it's that absurd. I don't think it's out of the box. As magicians, that's what we should aspire to do. We should always be aspiring to, to have the best second deal, the best cop, the best 
Flustration Count, the best any card to any number, the best color changing the deck, the best ambitious card trick, right? We should always be aspiring to stand on the shoulders of giants, to stand up there and reach high above where we think, well, nobody's reached up here yet. That could be you, all right? That could be you. And really what this project is, is it's, it's not Madison deconstructing Erdnays or tearing him down. It's taking uh, that book from 1902 and, and bringing it forward into the 21st century and saying, all right, if there was a modern day Erdnays, if there was a modern day expert at the card table, this is Madison's take. This is Erdnays by Madison. I hope that explains it for you. I hope that puts it into a better perspective. I appreciate the work. Um, I enjoyed it. Uh, you know, I actually own pretty much everything Madison's ever put out, whether it be PDF, download, decks of cards, whatever. I think the only thing, yeah, the only thing I don't own is uh, his collection. Like I don't have the Madison uh, collection, the big, big book, the big hundred dollar book. That's like the only thing I don't own. I've, I've wanted it, I've always wanted it, but price has kept me away from it. But uh, yeah, so you know, this is another collection that I've enjoyed and I'm glad it was released. Positives, all right, so what are the positives to Erdnays by Madison? You know what, this is a beautifully produced project. It really is, and so I would highly encourage you, especially if you're a fan of Madison or Erdnays, to pick this up. Negatives, all right, so what are some of the negatives? You know, like we say around here, there's negatives to everything. These are just the negatives that I see. They don't have to be the negatives that you see. Um, like I said, it's not, it's not Madison teaching you Erdnays directly, and a little bit, that's kind of what I was hoping it would be. You know, and that's my own fault for putting my own uh, preconceptions on top of this project, but that's what I was hoping it would be because the 1902 book has always been a little elusive for me. You know, it's funny to hear all these critics um, bash the project and say, you know, well, how dare you tear down Erdnays? But the fact is a lot of you have never read it. You haven't read it. You know, you bought it because you heard it was the best and when you got it, you were excited and you started to read it and then you went, oh, this is boring. Or then you went, oh, this is complicated or I can't figure this out. And then you put it on your shelf and now it sits on your shelf as a trophy, but you didn't read it. You know, you didn't read it. And, and so I was really hoping this would be Madison teaching me the book because the book has always been so uh, elusive to me and so far away. And I was really hoping somebody from the modern world would kind of bring it into my world and help me to understand the book. I was really hoping he would be a coach in this regard. But you know, again, like I said, that's just my own uh, misconception. And so that was really the only negative for me uh, and takeaway. All right, so is it worth your money? Uh, like I said at the top of this, it's about 100 bucks, um, and it's only worth buying the collection if you want the PDF. If you don't care about the PDF, then I would say break it in half. You know, it's gonna cost you a little bit more, but you can space out the payments. I would say get the decks first. Get the decks first because those will sell out, okay? Those will sell out. The downloadable videos won't sell out. Illusionists will have those forever. Um, they'll always be available to you. Maybe one day they'll even be a little cheaper. They'll run a sale, I don't know. But uh, get the decks first. I think that's the most important part. Get the decks, get the book. And then if you need to space it out monetarily wise, you can get the downloads later. Who would like this? I think fans of Madison, fans of Erdnays, fans of Gambling Slides. Uh, if you've got all the other uh, things, like I said, uh, how to cheat a cards or moves or mechanics, this definitely goes along in that vein. If you've appreciated those videos, you'll appreciate this. All right, so that is my review of Erdnays by Madison from Daniel Madison and Illusionist.com. I got mine from Illusionist.com and I would suggest you head there as well. Thanks, bye.